After dropping nearly 200 points today, the Dow Jones has since paired some of those losses this afternoon. However, it still remains well in the red. This after a meeting of European leaders disappointed investors. Now, although those investors had low predictions, low expectations for the meeting between French President Nicolas Sarkozy and German Chancellor Angela Merkel, the failure to include boosting the size of the Eurozone's rescue fund, the failure to announce beginning sales of euro bonds and proposing a new tax on financial transactions pushed the markets into a freefall this afternoon. Meanwhile, in economic reports, not much assisted. This as Germans, Germany's econ economy grew only by a total of 0.1% during the second quarter. This after growing 1.3% in the first quarter. U.S. housing starts fell 1.5% for the month of jo July. However, on the bright side, industrial production in the U.S. jumped 0.9%. It's best reading so far for 2011. Meanwhile, you team that with a downgrade to Google by the S&P late during the last hour of trading, cutting its rating to sell from buy, claiming that Google's buyout of Motorola Mobility will negatively impact Google's growth in the long term, paved the way for nearly 75% of the roughly 3.1 billion shares trading on the New York Stock Exchange to be in negative territory. Now, taking a look to see how the Dow Jones has closed out today's trading session at the Dow is down 76.97 points to settle in at 11,405. Point ninety three. In a breakdown of today's major market movers, we first begin with shares of home improvement retailer Home Depot, which rose by more than 4% this after its second quarter profit and sales figures exceeded expectations. Also on the upside, shares of Walmart, this on strong earnings from growing international sales. However, shares of Urban Outfitters over at the Nasdaq dropping more than 9% today. This after its earnings fell to 35 cents a share for the second quarter, and shares of Google dropped 3.5% following the S&P downgrade to sell from a buy. And just after today's closing bell, Dell released its earnings reports for the second quarter, and its earnings per share did improve, coming in at 54 cents versus the 49 cents expected. However, its revenue figures came up short of expectations at a reading of $15.66 billion versus $15.77 billion expected.